Hey guys, welcome to Matt Skinner TV. Today, I'm gonna answer the big question. What is it that we do, right? So I get this question all the time. In fact, I think my mom has even asked me this question from time to time, and I've been doing this business 17 years. And what I mean by doing this business, I mean investing in real estate, organizing private capital or private equity, and buying big projects and making my investors and myself a lot of money. So I want to just go through with you what this looks like. I'm going to explain it in the most simplest terms that I could possibly do for you and hopefully this will work out. So what we do is I go out and I have an acquisitions team now but when I started out I did this all on my own. I'd go out and I'd find a great deal. I'd find myself an apartment complex which is what this little silly looking drawing is here to symbolize. And I see this property and let's just say for a second that it is have a purchase price of four million dollars notwithstanding that i like to buy deals below market value under you know be, uh, below what they're really worth i like to great, make great deals because great deals are made and not found so i'm just gonna let's just say that this property might be worth more than four million but we're gonna buy it for four million dollars just for this conversation's sake now the first thing we need to recognize inside of this is that our bank is going to give us 75% loan to value. So 75% of the money is going to come from the from where? From the bank. I like I love good debt. You have a good relationship with the bank, good relationship with bankers, and if even if you don't have good money or good credit yourself, the cool thing about commercial real estate is that you can partner with somebody with good credit and some liquidity and then you can leverage and utilize their credit and their ability to borrow from a bank to utilize for your projects. That's why we call this real estate is a team sport when we get into this, into this business in this size of arena. Not to mention when you go to buy a property, you're going to go to the bank, they're going to underwrite the property, not specifically, not necessarily the individual when they're making a decision on this loan. So we're going to buy a $4 million asset. We're going to borrow $3 million from the bank. That leaves us with what? $1 million that we need to come up with as a down payment. So how do we do this? Well, we're going to set up, I'm going to draw a circle to you to illustrate this pie chart. Imagine this just as a pizza pie. Now this circle illustrates the limited liability uh, company or an LLC that we set up to buy this asset. This asset will be owned by this LLC. And so oftentimes what we'll do is we'll take this pizza pie, this LLC, and I'm just going to carve it up into slices, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll say this is kind of the uberfication of investing, right? We get a bunch of people to all share the same car or the same rides, and that, that ride kind of helps everybody out and lowers everybody's costs. We kind of do the same thing as far as investing goes. We're gonna buy this $4 million asset. We're gonna take this asset and its ownership structure, and we're gonna slice it up into a whole bunch of slices, and slices of pie, for example. And then we're going to sell these slices of pie to individual investors. So if we were gonna raise a million dollars, we could do that with 10 investors that all had $100,000. We could do it with 20 investors that all had $50,000, which is typically what we do, $50,000 minimum to get into our apartment deals. But you could go ahead and do 40 slices of pie and sell those shares at $25,000 a piece or any increment that uh, the person organizing this structure decides he wants to do. We choose to do $50,000 minimums because we want people that have some money, that have the ability to make these kinds of investments and have the financial intelligence you know, to be part of what we're doing. We want to, we want, I want to build my investment group, my inner circle with a bunch of like-minded uh, people that have the capital to make investments. Now, the average investment in our deals is usually between two hundred and three hundred thousand dollars and $300,000 per individual, but we do have a $50,000 minimum, only $50,000 minimum to invest in our apartment complexes. And this is how we do it. So we structure this pie, which we call the LLC. Everybody participates, and in this case, let's just to make it easy, let's say we're gonna invite 10 investors with $100,000 a piece. That gets us our $1 million in equity or our down payment. And then we'll go ahead and use the bank financing to acquire the asset. Now, after that, everybody participates, which is what makes apartment investing super powerful. Everybody participates in the cash flow, tax benefits, and growth. 
On another episode, I'm going to show you guys how we take this structure and we utilize something that I call compound equity. Everybody's heard of compound interest, where you're going to make interest on your interest. But I bet you haven't heard of compound equity, where we're going to take the same down payment and buy multiple assets over time. Same money generating, leaving a trail of cash flowing assets in its wake. Stay tuned to check that out. That's called Compound Equity. Thanks for watching Matt Skinner TV.